I saw this little video. This guy here has made this little video, or it's a clip. This means dog headed people. I think it's St. Christopher is even depicted as a dog headed people, and they said it was a mistake. And then I'm thinking, oh, I don't know. Really, we had things like that instead, we were these. But I know these aren't quite animals, but it is a worm. Well, I suppose it is, there's a worm in there. Um, but then you have this armour that's got worms in it. And I myself had a few hangouts with Christian about this because. In certain bits of history it was, or, or myth, it'll tell you that these things were there and dragons were there and whatever it is, but you can actually find some of it. You know, there's statues of it. Um, that's another weird one there, like that's got a, that's got a, whatever that is in it. But there are these statues with the worm in it. So what does that really mean? I mean Christian couldn't really find the answer to that. There we go. Um, that one I think I just put out because it was someone trying to explain things about armour and stuff. But there we go. Christian hangout. Christian hangout and another Christian hangout. But we're going to look at, we're going to watch a few minutes of this hangout. See there, the views. My views were even better then than they are today because what it is is YouTube takes my views off. So many people have messaged me and told me they can actually watch it change in front of them and half the views go. So I'll never know how many people are really watching this channel. And what it is, is as they're squeezing the life out of my channel, um, and not promoting me, not monetizing me, um, my views are going down and they're going, your views are going down, but they're doing it. Anyway, it just annoys me. But anyway, we're going to watch a little bit of this hangout. Hey. We're here this afternoon or this evening whenever I put the video out with our Christian. Christian has a few topics he likes to talk about. One being the worm in the... Well, I suppose it's in the armour, isn't it? So, hello, Christian. Hello and good afternoon to everyone. Or good day. Good morning, good evening, good night. <laughs> or good afternoon, rather, good night. Yeah. So, Christian and I have actually done quite a bit on the worm in the past, haven't we, Christian? We had a hangout about it, and I've made some videos, and I found out a bit more information. But you don't really know what the worm is. It never says, does it? No, not really, but I mean, my latest opinion would be that the Roman Empire was worldwide at one point, and I think, as it's falling, I think what it is that the parasite had entered the Roman Empire from within, and I think that what, what stuff probably started to collapse of the Roman Empire. Oh, so it's a symbol then, so that's saying the down with the Romans. Yeah. And basically, I mean, when you see all the um, the paintings, the um, pictorials, and even the statues that depict the worm getting inside the, the um, legionnaire's armour, uh, it's almost like what we have today. The parasites are in power, and you look what's happening today. So there's not much difference to the, um, the Roman Empire of old to the Roman Empire of new. You know, we're seeing a collapse, whether it's uh, humanity as a whole. You know, but it's all more or less connected, isn't it? I just don't. I just don't quite understand the worm. I mean, it's it's in stories. That's how we saw it. It was on the hill, wasn't it? Do you remember? And it, yeah. It was about a snake. Was it a snake wrapping itself around the hill? But in there, there was these things. Yeah. Or are you are they you depicting that once they've killed a Roman, chopped their head off, they stick a worm in there to say that's it, he's a Roman. 
<laughs> yeah, no. Is it going to be a weird way of doing it, considering we now know that they're far, we're far more advanced than they're telling us? Like, we were making a bit of a joke, weren't we, that we said that Henry VIII was probably riding around in a car, or, or equivalent to a car, whatever they had in those days, but, you know, I'll be with you in four hours, I'm coming on the balloon thing. Um, you know, it was obviously different to their telling us, so... Yeah, I mean, when you see that all the Akamadia uh, buildings of um, the older world, they've all more or less got what you call the fish side of the, the promenade of where the main desks are. So, you know, it's, it's just like the, the old Roman Empire. You know, all these older buildings are run by um, government and institutions. You know, there, there is no difference. You know, and you just, uh, put things together that it's like, is it the same bloodlines that have followed it down throughout the ages? You know, and you, you make the connection that um, what's going on today is like um, the old um, dragon has raised its head again, you know. Yeah, but sometimes they draw it a bit like a dragon, don't they? Yeah, this is it, you know. And I bet they're here. Is that, oh, I'm just taking my thing across. I mean, it is a little bit uh, of a drawing, but they're at the bottom there in the picture. There, look, it's like a dragon. That is still called the worm. Let's have a look. Let's just see what it says. Fictional descriptions of, but that one's a, is a dragon. Yeah, because, because it's where it starts off. It starts off as a, as a worm. You know, it's just like the, the well, butterfly. Well, it says re, 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 Renaissance statue. It's got someone standing behind the headless body of that person with the worm in their head. I know it's stone, but that's what they're showing. They're standing behind it. Yeah, and that's the symbology of the day, I suppose, because in them days they used a bit symbology, a bit more within all their drawings, the big tools and their paintings, you know. Hey, just one uh, second, Christian, one second. We're just stopping this just for one moment. Hang on, I'm going to look something up. So, basically, I looked up the spiritual meaning of a worm. There's a few there. It says strong emotions and keen insight. And it says, when you have an earthworm dream, it tells you that your breakthrough is close. So it's, so it's a symbol of breaking through. Yeah. Here you go. What does seeing a worm mean spiritually? Death and rebirth. Yeah. They're a sign of oh, right. and so, yeah. of energy to a new state or body. A new state or body. This meaning wow. reflects that you could be living in insignificant and valueless, valueless life. So, right, we've killed them. Stick a worm in because now they're on their transit to their new life. Well, kind of makes sense though, doesn't it? You know, for what you just um, discovered um, under the meaning of the worm. So basically it fits together quite nicely, doesn't it? You know, kill the body and put a new uh, bit of life into it. You know, the, uh, the death and the rebirth. Wow. We've um, used this guy before, his little video on the worm. So we're going to play his little video again and then we're going to go on to the dog-headed people. When you think you've seen it all, you ain't seen nothing yet. There was a chapel in Florence and it may just show what was hiding in certain knights' armour. Did you know that certain knights was never seen without their armour? They would even sleep in it and you would never hear them speak and when it came to the females they would have no direct contact they would get the female to put teardrops into a handkerchief and have it given to them indirectly what kind of freaky thing is this they would also get their fellow soldiers to pour water into their armor all throughout the day what kind of reptilian thing is this now let's be realistic what kind of human could wear this night and day? It's not even practical. How could he even see, let alone fight? To wear this helmet, your eyes would need to be in your forehead. Who remembers Earthworm Jim? I think they was trying to tell us something. And I think they was trying to tell us something in Game of Thrones, because that guy was no longer human. I mean, just look. To wear this armor, your eyes need to be lowered in your nose. Your arms need to be lanky, and you need to have crow's foot. Sometimes we just can't spell it all out, but you've got to read the signs. Because is it a is it um a pesticide sort of thing? Does it mean you're rotten? Have they beheaded you and they put a worm in for 
victory um, is that inside the armor um, and it goes on and on but anyway so I can't be oh no 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 when we've got the worm armor and you've got a view about that so we're just going to listen to his view about the dog people what's your thoughts to all that just asking it was not just giants that was left out of the rewriting of our history many beings once shared this realm with us the cynocephaly were one of those creatures the definition of cynocephaly is literally dog-headed being but there are documented accounts of them from many civilizations the world over. And not just like a Bigfoot myth. It wasn't just depictions of off-handed sightings. There were great details of their livings and even their occasional combat against us. And even one of the most famous saints of them all, Saint Christopher, was depicted many times as a dog-headed cynocephaly saint. Though the mainstream says the reason for this depiction was due to a misinterpretation. So essentially, an artist misinterpreted Saint Christopher, and ever since then, they depicted him as a dog-headed saint. Because that's definitely how misinterpretations work. As I said, our true history is so distorted Nobody has any clear picture of our true reality. We can only piece together the scraps and hope to form a more complete picture. Question everything, friends. Until next time.